light light is a form of energy light travels in a straight line in the same medium light is reflected when it strikes an opaque surface light bends when it travels from one medium to another most of our experience of the world comes through light and sound without light life would be impossible we need light to see by plants use light energy to manufacture food in fact light from the sun is a source of nearly all of our energy and warmth the phenomenon of light the explanation of what it is and of why objects are visible has taken a long time to be understood in fact the nature of light rays was not satisfactorily explained until the present century the figures below represent various views taken through a motor car windscreen on a dark night the car lights are switched off and nothing can be seen the lights have been switched on and things in the beam can be seen the light is in a thick fog no object can be seen in front of the car the headlights merely light up the fog but now the objects inside the car can be made out faintly newton's contribution to the scientific world is immortalized in this couplet nature and nature's laws hid by night god said let newton be and all was light therefore we see things only when objects send out light every object which we see around us would be invisible but for the fact that light comes from it enters our eyes and causes messages to be sent from our eyes to our brain the earliest known explanation of vision was by the 6th century BC Greek philosopher Pythagoras. He proposed that an object is visible because light rays travel from a person's eyes to an object and then back. This theory failed to explain why we cannot see in the dark. Sources of light. During the day while the sun shines, objects are easily and clearly visible to us. After sunset, visibility begins to reduce. By nightfall, visibility is so poor that objects cannot be seen unless a fire or an electric lamp is lit. If it is a moonlit night, objects may be distinguished, but details cannot be observed. On a moonless night, we are surrounded by darkness and then nothing is visible. The sun, fire, electric lamp or bulb makes it possible for us to see. These are called sources of light. In the absence of these, we are unable to see. Natural and Artificial Light Light sources that cannot be created by humans is called natural light. This includes the sun and the stars. Certain insects like glowworms and fireflies, sea animals and some bacteria and fungus also emit light. Electric lights, oil lamps and candles are created by humans and hence they are artificial light sources. In ancient times, people found that two flints struck sharply together to produce a spark. Later, a flint was struck against a piece of steel to make a spark which could be used to light an easily burnt material called tinder. How light is produced? Matter is composed of tiny particles called atoms. Each atom is made up of the following particles. A central core or nucleus which consists of two types of particles, the proton and the neutron. Spinning around the nucleus in fixed paths or orbits are called the electrons. When a substance is heated or if an electric current is passed through it, the atoms absorb energy and are said to be excited. Their electrons take up the energy and spin faster and faster and tend to move away from the nucleus. The electrons return to their former level by giving off the energy they had absorbed. This is given off in packets or quantums of light energy called photons. What are the terms used to study light? Luminous bodies. The bodies which themselves emit light are called luminous bodies. Thus, luminous bodies are sources of light. Example, the sun, a burning candle, an electric bulb, fluorescent tube, etc. Non-luminous bodies. The bodies 
which do not emit light but become visible by light falling from some luminous objects on them are called non-luminous bodies. Example, the moon, the earth, any object we see that is a book, a chair, a table, etc. Point source of light. If a screen with a pinhole is placed in front of a lighted bulb, a point source of light is obtained. From the point source, light propagates in all directions. A ray. The path along which light travels in a given direction is called a ray of light. A ray of light is represented by a straight line. The arrowhead on it gives the direction of light. Propagation of light. Light travels out from a visible object. The expression propagation is sometimes used instead of traveling so that light is said to be propagated. Medium. The term medium is used for any substance through which light might pass. Air is a medium, so are glass, water and many other substances. Transparent medium. A medium is said to be transparent if light passes freely through it. The object can be distinctly seen through a transparent medium. Example, glass, air and water. Translucent medium. A medium is said to be translucent if it allows only a part of the light to pass through it and through which objects cannot be distinctly seen. Example, butter paper, paraffin wax, greased paper and ground glass. Opaque medium. A medium is said to be opaque if it does not allow any light to pass through it and through which vision is not possible. Example, wood, stone and metals. Rectilinear propagation of light. Light travels in a straight line as long as it is traveling in the same medium. The following experiment demonstrates the rectilinear property of light. Take three cardboard squares of equal size and pierce a tiny hole through the center of each. The center of the cardboard can be located by drawing the diagonals of the square. The point which the diagonals intersect cross each other is the center of the square. Fix each cardboard square on a stand so that it remains upright. Arrange the three cardboards A, B and C one behind another such that their centers are in the same horizontal line. You may pass a wire through the holes to confirm if they are in a straight line. Place a burning candle in front of the port A and look through the pinhole in port C. Now displace port B slightly and again look through the pinhole C. Observation When the pinholes of the three cardboards are in the same line, the candle can be clearly seen. The candle is not visible when cardboard B is displaced. Conclusion Light travels in a straight line. When the holes on the cardboard are not in a straight line, light fails to pass through it. Effects of Rectilinear Propagation of Light The three main effects of rectilinear propagation of light are formation of shadows, formation of eclipse and formation of images. Formation of Shadows Light travels in a straight line. Now, if an opaque object is placed in front of a light source, it will not allow the light to pass through it. As such, a dark patch will be formed behind it. This dark patch is called a shadow. Shadow formed by point source of light. When an opaque object is placed between a point light source and screen, the shadow is uniformly dark, sharp at the edges, same shape as the object, however the size may differ. Light source smaller than the object. When an opaque object larger than the light source is placed between the light source and the screen, two patches are formed. The inner patch is completely dark as it does not get light. This is called the umbra. The outer patch is not completely dark as it receives some light. This lighter patch or shadow is called the penumbra. Formation of shadows. The type of shadow form depends upon two factors the size of the source of light and the size of the object. Shadow formed by light source smaller than the object. Light source larger than the object. When an object smaller than the light source is placed between the light source and the screen, two patches or shadows are formed consisting of the umbra and the penumbra. As the screen is moved further and further away from the light source, the size of the umbra goes on becoming smaller and smaller 
beyond a point the umbra completely vanish formation of eclipse eclipses have fascinated people for thousands of years the ancient chinese thought was that solar eclipses occur when a dragon in the sky tried to swallow the sun an eclipse is a darkening of a heavenly body when the shadow of one object in space falls on another object an eclipse can also occur when one object moves in front of another to block its light. Lunar Eclipse and Solar Eclipse The Sun is a luminous body which is larger than the Earth and the Moon. The Earth and the Moon are non-luminous bodies. The Earth revolves around the Sun and the Moon revolves around the Earth. Therefore, the position of the Earth and the Moon keeps changing with respect to each other and with respect to the Sun. Depending upon the relative position of the Sun, Earth and the Moon, there are two types of eclipses, lunar eclipse and solar eclipse. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth, that is a small object, is between the Sun, a large light source and the Moon. That is the Sun, the Earth and the Moon are in a straight line with the Earth in between the Sun and the Moon. The shadow of the Earth is cast on the Moon. The total lunar eclipse occurs if the moon passes through the umbra. Since the moon does not receive any light from the sun, it does not reflect any light. Hence, it is not visible at all. A partial lunar eclipse occurs if the moon is not completely in the umbra. It then receives some light from the sun which it reflects to the earth and makes itself partially visible. A lunar eclipse can occur only on a full moon day. Solar Eclipse a solar eclipse occurs when the sun, earth and moon are in a straight line with the moon position in between the sun and the earth. The shadow of the moon is cast on the earth. A total solar eclipse is seen from the umbra region on earth. The sun appears as a black circular disk with a ring of light. This is known as annular eclipse. A partial solar eclipse is seen from the penumbra region. A solar eclipse can only occur on a new moon day. Formation of Images You have seen how light can form or cast shadows of objects. The pinhole camera demonstrates how light can form images of objects. The pinhole camera consists of a rectangular box made of wood, cardboard or metal. Its one surface is replaced with a translucent material called ground glass. This surface serves as a screen on which the image is formed. A tiny pinhole is made on the side opposite to the ground glass. This allows light from the objects to enter the box. When a lighted candle is placed in front of the pinhole, the image of the candle is seen on the screen. The image is real, that is it can be caught on a screen, enlarged and inverted upside down.